Hang on to your seat, baby. Cause this one's a screamer. What is going on? It's the time. I'm coming to y'all with another Hollywood Hot Top. It's going to be a little sure. I mean, let me tell my shitty real quick, like Cardi B said. Before I get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what y'all think about this uh, video. Um, All right. Also, it's also called A Step in the Neighborhood. Okay. <laughs> now, Lizzo, you guys, has quit music. She put out a statement on Instagram and said, I'm getting tired of putting up with getting dragged by everyone in my life and on the internet all i want is to make music and make people happy and help the world be a little better than i than how i found it but i'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it i'm constantly up against lies being told about me for clout and views being the butt of the joke every single time because of how i look my character being picked apart by people who don't know me and disrespecting my name i didn't so sign up for this ish i quit i think this is for a multitude of reasons I think she's sick of people poking at her weight. And I think a lot of it has to do with the lawsuit. I feel like she's pissed that this lawsuit that was, you know, filed by all those background dancers that they're trying to make her look like a mean girl, which she claims that she's not. Now, we did a whole video on that last year about the lawsuit and breaking down some of the stuff that they claim. A lot of it is frivolous and, and, and is cap. I'm sorry. It needs to be studied how people quickly turn against Lizzo because who you guys acted as if she was the real life uh, Little Mermaid enemy. You guys treated her like she was the real life Ursula. And it's just really, really sad because I just do not think all of the claims are true. I think some of them are, but not all of them. And I think another reason why you guys remember when Kathy Hilton went on Watch What Happens Live. So they put up this pick, they put up like they played this game because Annie loves to play games. They put, they did this game where they would put a picture, and Kathy Hilton was there on Watch What Happens Live, and they told her guess the celebrity. So they ended up putting up a picture of Lizzo like this, and Kathy said, "Precious." Lizzo, of course, probably wasn't too happy about that. She said the screen was too so far, and my vision is terrible. If you recall, I couldn't even make out who Justin Timberlake or Melissa Etheridge was. I think that's so cat. You just think a lot of black people look alike. It is okay, Kathy. Yes. I feel like I do, precious. No. <laughs> so yeah, you see Andy over there cackling. It's all <laughs> funny. Yeah. Okay. And also, of course, Candace Owens picking at her weight at every chance. Now I feel like as a celebrity, certain things you shouldn't have access to. And a big thing it should be social media. I feel like you should have somebody reporting to you what people are saying. Although it's hard, it's harder said than done. I feel like that's the best way. Like I just don't picture Beyonce just scrolling on Instagram. I feel like people are telling her, hey, this is happening. Somebody just said this about you. So that way... Because it's, e it's easier to digest information when somebody tells you versus you finding it yourself. Because the blow could be a little lighter versus her scrolling on Twitter, her scrolling on Instagram and seeing a video like this. Now, Kathy, this is why people say certain things about the Hilton family. Because, you know, damn what that girl don't look nothing like Precious. Precious is two shades darker than Lizzo. So how do they look anything alike besides a little bit of fat? I just think Hollywood's a tougher industry than people realize. So some of those dancers getting into it, they thought it was going to be all peaches and cream. And when certain things didn't go their way, they turned into disgruntled employees. Not all, but some of them. Some of the claims, of course, I believe, but not all. To make it seem like she's some sexual deviant that's out here, you know, with a sex cage in her room and making the dancers go over there and stay for the night and forcefully making them do things. It's just like, it's a little crazy to me, to be honest. But do I think she's quitting for good? No. I think this is a little bit of call for attention. And I also read that the documents are not going to be sealed in regards to her whole case. So we're going to be finding out more details 
soon in regards to that whole lawsuit and she tried to get it sealed but it was denied so i think that has a lot to do as to why she's sort of upset because the bad press is going to be coming along so this is probably like a little bit of a preemptive strike to get you know the media to sort of ease up on her so she tried to get the case thrown out in february and the judge denied her also her request to seal the case so the details weren't available to the public because they're getting court dates soon. So that's a little bit as to why she's probably putting um, this out there. So I don't think she's that much of a mean girl. Like, like y'all, the media is trying to paint her. She probably has her mean girl ways, but I just feel like she's been in this industry for a little bit now. Something like this would have came up about her before. Other celebrities would have commented that about her before. And that they've never have except for the people that the people that have worked for her so that's just what i think about the whole situation let me know what y'all think down below speaking of more industry stuff y'all chloe <laughs> was performing with offset it got a little handsy chloe you're in deep trouble wobbles okay because Cardi B is somewhere biting off her nails and putting your name in the brouhaha mix, girl. She going to do brouhaha on you because he looked a little bit too comfortable. I do feel like people are blowing this performance a little bit out of proportion. You would have thought she sat in his she sat in his lap. Chloe's a sexual person physically. Like, she ooze, oozes sexuality. So that's just her thing so i don't think it's like a oh it was like a flirty type of thing that's just her aura that's what she gives off even though i don't think that's 100 percent her that's the aura that she gives off okay but i do feel like cardi will did snap on offset when he got home though to be honest you know he did you know she did cussed him out all in spanish she she probably was just like oh you 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 fucking with chloe okay you probably messing with the sister too ain't it look at you you messing with the sister too I'm just saying, but I don't see nothing really wrong with this, to be honest. I do see a whole lot of chemistry, a whole lot. Ah, now Smiley, you guys is going viral because she did an interview with her son and the son has some choice words for her. I hate when if my mom talks shit back oh, and doesn't run up, I'll be mad. Oh <laughs> my God, these kids. I hate when if my mom talks shit back and it? doesn't run up, I'll be mad. Oh! <laughs> now, I watched this interview in full. Smiley, you shouldn't have did this interview. It's one thing to exploit yourself, but please don't do it to your kids, Smiley. Like, come on. There got to be a limit. <laughs> like, oh, my God. This world is just becoming trash. There got to be a limit in the exploitation. You can exploit yourself all day. You're an adult. You're Smiley. You can do that all day and night we expect it from you the boy was cursing all throughout the interview he was saying some very questionable type of things <sighs> i was just i was gagged just watching it. it it just it just wasn't needed it didn't have to happen you didn't have to do this like at all the comments you guys are ripping her to shreds because they feel like you shouldn't be cursing around your parents like that. Now, I've gotten into it with my parents as an adult and have said some things. But as a kid, ha! Oh, my God. Imagine. As a kid, never. I'm talking about never. Ever, 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 ever. So it just baffles me that she does allow him to do that. But I guess it's gentle parenting. But I think it's stupid parenting. Because the older he gets, the more disrespectful it's going to turn out um, to be, to be honest. Because that's the least he could have is the respect to not curse in front of you, especially when other people are in the presence of you guys. I don't know. Now, Boosie, you guys uh, talked a little bit about Diddy and says, why are the people that are at the Diddy parties not defending Diddy? Keep a happy for a nigga down for I don't hear none of them niggas who was at Diddy's shit toasting with that champagne every year, having speeches with man. Nobody speak up for this man or nothing. When you're on top of the world, 
it's a celebration. Bruh. When you're on the bottom, it's a denialation. Ooh. Bruh, same motherfucker you see going up, you're gonna see coming down. Dr. Seuss ain't got shit on Lucy. All the motherfuckers, all with them suits on, with their cuffs up. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Like, tweeted, man. <laughs> they ain't, fool. Man, as <laughs> soon as they say something, they in the crosshair, fool. Boy, this world, boy, this world, boy. This world, boy. So, so you was around getting too. They That's why you ain't gonna see too many niggas around me. Who was around me before I went to jail? You don't see too many niggas around me. Cause them niggas, the niggas did me like did it for did it people. Black people happy for a nigga down. I agree with this 100 percent I'm telling you, when the going gets rough, people get to go in. So Boosie tell no lies. Those people that were in attendance of party, their mom's the word. But there is stuff called aiding and betting. But in Carlissa's words, adding and betting. Okay. I guess that's a new term. <laughs> Carlissa kills me in the comments. Adding and betting. Okay? That's the new term now. All right? You added up the charges and you betting to get arrested. Okay? Of course, legally, it's smart not to say anything. I will say that though. Um, so I don't, I don't, I wouldn't expect anybody that was at those parties to really speak up because you don't want to be caught up in any legal drama trying to defend him. So that's why I the Tyrese thing kind of like blew me because I'm like, whoa. Even though he didn't implicate that he was at one of the parties, but he did say the song his songs would cause the best parties. So that's something, but you know, that still can't be implicated. It's smart of them to shut up. For them to speak up and talk specifically about how he's a good person, nothing happened at those parties. That's gonna get some people's eyebrows raising and you're they're gonna get to questioning you. So it's smart for them not to. Well, Diddy, in the meantime, is unbothered, chilling in Miami. We're at, at Pira Vida by my pad. Uh, Run into the man right here. Uh, what's up? Miami's like that. Yeah. It's a movie. <laughs> Down here at... Oh, it's like that. <laughs> I know you like that. Daddy, I know you like that. Daddy, 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 I know you like that. Okay. The, here's the thing, though. A lot of you guys expect this man to be weeping and woeing in a corner. He has yet to be criminally charged or arrested. So he has to celebrate all he can. I'm playing. But no, he he has to go on with his life and not live in fear, especially if in his mind, he doesn't think he did anything wrong. So I don't know why people expect him to just sit there and woe and, and weep when you guys wouldn't have been doing the same thing if you guys were in his shoes. Now, do I think it's, you know, smart to host gatherings? No. Especially at this moment, this is the wrong time to host gatherings, especially putting on social media. If I was Diddy and that guy put that video up and posted on social media, I would have cussed you clean the fuck out. Because why the fuck are you posting anything with me gathering when I'm accused of partying, okay? And doing party, okay? Next thing you, you know, they're going to say we have another another party and we out here partying. We doing parties, okay? We smoking party and we doing parties. Like, come on. This is what Boosie means when he says that. And I don't even like Boosie, but he's 100% right. You just can't have anybody around you because look, why did that have to be posted on social media? That gives me clout hungry. That gives me, you just want everybody to know. Like, damn. I just don't get it. Now, Stevie being loyal to Diddy shows us a lot. I don't know if it, it, it lets us know that he has done some things that he's scared to be implicated in, and that's why he's writing so hard for Diddy, or just the fact that he's just a loyal person and he's making sure to have his back. We saw Love Hip Hop that him and, and uh, Zeno wrote for each other die hard. So it's something to be said about that, and it kind of shows a testament to his character because he is one of the people that was around Diddy at that time frame that he's been accused of all these charges that hasn't really switched up and publicly has spoken out in defense of him, while other people that were around him haven't really said anything and act like the man doesn't even exist. Okay. Now, next I wanted to get into you guys is Snoop Dogg's daughter. Now she made a video talking about how she's content in life despite having a Corolla. 
matter because my dad is rich and because I have this and I have that when that shit don't mean nothing to me. Like, I drive a Toyota Corolla and I'm content, content. When my dad bought me that car, I, I'm not gonna lie, at first I was like, hmm, a Toyota Corolla? But before that, I was driving Wayne's Acura. Ooh. And you just learn to appreciate stuff. I'm looking on social media, I'm looking at these girls' lives that are that are my age, and I'm like, damn, you doing this, you doing that. I'm sitting here with my two dogs and my boyfriend every day trying to figure out what I want to eat. Like I just I feel stuck. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I'm very blessed. I'm in a very blessed position. You know what I'm saying? And and sometimes they journey is they journey and your journey is your journey. It don't matter because my dad Okay, I feel a couple of ways about this. Let's play it again though. As rich and because I have this and I have that when that shit don't mean nothing to me. Like I drive a Toyota Corolla and I'm content. Content. When my dad bought me that car. I, I'm not gonna lie, at first I was like, hmm, a Toyota Corolla? But before that, I was driving Wayne's Acura. And you just learn to appreciate stuff. I'm looking on social media, I'm looking at these girls' lives that are, that are my age, and I'm like, damn, you doing this? You doing that? I'm sitting here with my two dogs and my boyfriend every day trying to figure out what I want to eat. Like, I just, I feel stuck. But at the end of the day, I'm very blessed. I'm in a very blessed position. You know what I'm saying? And, and sometimes they journey is they journey and your journey is your journey. It not matter because my dad- Okay, so here's how I feel. First of all, let's talk about me. <laughs> all right, my first car was- Anissa Altima, and I got it in Miami from a Miami scamming ass nigga. The car immediately started giving me issues after a while. I spent seven bands on it off my own money. My mom and dad did give me a dollar towards that car. Bought it. A couple months down the line, well, not really a couple months, a month down the line, started giving me issues, engine this, engine that. I got in an accident with it. That was my first accident I ever got into. It was a little fender bend. It was nothing. But it just goes to show you, like, you can't compare yourself to other people. You really can't. Because some people weren't even lucky enough to have their parents buy them a car. They had to go get it on their own. And I had got their car when I was like, wait, 17, 18? No, I was like 18. I was 18. You know what I mean? So they didn't have to hustle, okay? I didn't do strange things for some change. And I sure as hell didn't party for the 7K. But, you know, I busted my ass. So having a parent that's a celebrity, I feel like you have a little bit of a head start that others do not have. I feel like kids of celebrities shouldn't be handed things, meaning they get this, they get that. Because those are the kids that end up sometimes not all the times, but sometimes going down a bad path in life, meaning that they start doing, you know, powder donuts, they start drinking, they start becoming addicted to certain things. They start going down a bad path in life because they haven't really had to work and bust their ass for anything. So they get a little bit distracted with the pleasures of life versus us who have to kind of get it how we live and bust our ass to get everything that we have because we don't have a parent that's providing everything. Now, her, him getting her a Toyota Corolla, I will say you could have gave her some a little bit more luxurious just off the fact that you're her celebrity dad. And that's why you've worked so hard because you want to give your kids the best life. But I don't think kids, celebrity kids should be spoiled either. Because we've seen how it ends up, and sometimes it does not end up right. But celebrity children like this kind of bother me, even though she didn't say anything negative. It's not like she was just like, oh, my God, I'm poor. He's not helping me. It bothers me because you shouldn't compare yourself to regular folk or people that are doing a little better than you because you do have an edge. 
you have a celebrity father. So he has the so he has the likeness to be able to get you rooms that other people will not be able to get into. So that I will always envy celebrity kids. It's not even about the money. It's not even about the luxurious stuff. It's about the opportunities that you can get due to your due to who your dad or your mom is that's a celebrity. Because they could get you into rooms. They could put your name into pots that regular folks will have to work three times as hard to be able to get into. So that's why I don't feel sympathy a lot for celebrity children that do complain. Because it's all up to you at the end of the day and what you do with a celebrity parent. Okay, let me know what y'all think about it, uh, about this topic. Do you guys think that he should have gotten her a more luxurious car? And also, should she be comparing herself to other people? Okay, now let's talk about the nails. Sally Nails. Let's talk about Sally Nails. <laughs> let's talk about the Sally, Sally Nails. All right. So recently, you guys, Lil Baby had a music video, and a music video looked as if he had painted nails, but I guess it was a filter in the music video that kind of glared off his nails that made him look like he had painted nails. I can't keep as you see here, it looks like a teal blue Easter color. Easter, we're going to call it Easter egg, okay? Now, this teal blue was the butt of academics jokes. He said, this nigga ain't been the same since Michael Rubin parties. I know his nails not painted. Man, what's going on in rap? And the academics said, ayo, bros, my phone must be must be broke. Can y'all confirm to me this ain't, F, this ain't 4PF Demon and Prime Minister Lee Bebe with a full set of painted nails what's going on right now in atlanta and then you reply back somebody from the team said nails ain't painted you're gonna find a when your is in a coffin okay academics is playing a dangerous game i will say whoever edited this video they set him up and they did this on purpose there's already rumors and you guys have put out rumors into the world of making little baby one of the worlds putting out this rumor heavily that he's one of the girls and he be getting down and you know he probably one of the ones at the diddy parties allegedly i don't really believe it because you guys have the internet has even put up a video that they claim was little baby when it was a whole nother corn star it's given a little bit of mr rodney okay claiming that that video was stevie j when it was my guy. all right i will say though i don't think little baby does any favors replying back to this because it shows that it bothers him especially getting so mad at it when you know it's not true. We remember when that video leaked, they're like, oh my God, it's little baby. We could tell damn well that was a no damn little baby. But he got so angry that it made it seem like, why are you getting so mad if that's not the, you know what I'm saying? Like we knew it wasn't him, but the internet likes to make jokes about stuff like that. Now we have another nail issue with this Duke basketball player. He got a nail polish partnership with Sally Hansen says painting his name is self nails the self care helps him not bite his nails and play well. I'm painting my nails right now and I just did this side white and I'm gonna do this side blue and I thought I'd just talk to you guys a little bit about why going to do blue as usual just do some self care time I think everybody should do some self care for themselves for me it's nail painting I'm sorry if that offends any of you guys my favorite nail polish to use though is the Sally Hansen to dry because it only takes 60 seconds to dry i'm um, not my best job but not my worst while they dry it only takes 60 seconds i'm going to tell you guys why i paint my nails now, there's really no no crazy reason to it um it helps me not bite my nails um i went to a salon one time and i decided to um, pick out a color and i thought it looked nice i know a lot of people disagree a lot of people don't like it but i'm just going to be myself and do what i think looks nice one of the reasons why i kept painting my nails is i had a game after i painted my nails and i ended up playing really well so you know, I'm not the crazy, I'm not crazy superstitious, but you know, if I thought it looked nice, I thought it helped me play better. And so far it's worked. So I'm gonna just keep doing it, I guess. And just like that, the nails are done. I'm able to do whatever, go play basketball or anything I need to do. I'm sorry y'all, but I don't like this. <laughs> I'll be damned if I talk to a nigga who pay his nails. I'm just, I just can't, I'm sorry. 
It is coming from a game I had. I, I, I like, no, 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 no. Okay. I thought he was going to blow on him like, <laughs> you know, you know how girls, they be like, they blow it. They blow it to dry him up or start waving him. I thought he was going to start waving him. It would be like, start blowing him. I'm like, ah, okay. Here's the thing. I feel like he's doing this strictly for money. I don't think it has anything to do with self-care, helping him not buy his nails. I think it's all about the dollar sign, 100%. There's clear colored uh, nail polish that he could have gotten to put on his nails. So I just do not believe that this is a form of self-care for him. And I feel like it blurs the line heavily because there's so much homophobia when it comes to the Black community. So it just bothers me when like people do stuff like this. But then a gay person does a certain thing and they're criticized. But certain people are 100% okay with this. So it's, it, it just bothers me that like people allow certain things for straights, but they're gays. It's like, oh my God. So it's like, make it make sense. It's really annoying, to be honest. Um, I just don't think it's a, a good look. And I feel like it's all money driven. And it shows me that a lot of people will do certain things just for money and not because they actually want to do it. I do not think a lot of basketball players will follow in their footsteps. So I'm in the middle of the criticism that they're going to get. Um, he is a college basketball player, not in the league yet. So if he were to get in the league, he probably would carry on that sponsorship over. But I just don't see anybody in the league doing stuff like this because of the heavy criticism um, that's going to come uh, behind it. You know what kills me too on Vanderpump rules? Them girl, them niggas be painting their nails. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> I'm talking about, I ain't talking about the game. I'm talking about the straight ones, okay? With girlfriends, they paint their nails right, <laughs> and like they be arguing and stuff. And I'm like, this is crazy. Like I watched the show, and I'm like, this is West Hollywood. Like wow, like wow. And you guys are straight. When, where? It just bothers me. It like I just I, I feel like. It blurs a little bit of the lines because of the the hardship that gays go through. I'm not gonna try making no sympathy. But oh my god, no! The criticism that we get for doing the littlest stuff, but then straights could do stuff like this, and people defend it hardcore and tell people to mind their business. But with gays, it's not mind their business. Y'all get what I'm saying? That's all I got to say with that one, okay? Let me know what y'all think down below about some of these topics. And we're out, babies. Ain't no personal thing.